Big Game Records, Volume 4, the Rusa Samba and Whitetail. We've got the Rusa Trophies, the 236 Club, and it's brought to you by Kane's Deer Velvet. If you or a loved one have some aches and pains setting in, or an injury that needs support to heal, consider topping up your body with Kane's Deer Velvet. It's packed full of amazing nutrients that the body uses in maintaining immune system, bones, joints, circulation and general well-being. Find out more, click the link in the show notes, www.kanesdeervelvet.com and use the code STAGRAW252 at checkout for a 20% introductory discount. That website again, just click it there, down in the show notes, www.kanesdeervelvet.com. Good day and welcome back to the 236 Club. This is number five, J.A. Chilcott. This is the Waimana Valley, Bay of Plenty, 1973. This is another um, overspread. So it's 37 and 4 by 37 and 2. And the spread is a whopping 41 and 6 eighths. So that's a difference of 4 and 2 eighths. So that's times by three, so they lose 12 and 6 eighths for that. So the overall spread equaling 29, uh, span of 33. Beams are 6 and 2 by 6 and 2, and the coronet is 9 and 9. So that's beautifully even. The brows, they're 9 and 2 by 13. Um, the inner top is 16 by 15 and 2, and the outer top is... 14 by 14 and 4. So again, those inners are longer than the outers. So rooster type. So Jim Kilcott, Jim Kilcott, yeah, that's him. According to my informants, was in the main a range shooter and not a regular hunter, though he evidently died while out hunting. He supposedly sat down in the bush, leaning his back against a tree, went to sleep and never wo- never awoke. A great way to pass on to the happy hunting grounds. When Chilcott first acquired his trophy, he told friends he had no idea of its origin or anything about it. Yet I was told a number of years ago it was taken by a young German hunter, born here, who left it hanging on the wall of a cow shed in the Morinsville area where he had been employed as a shed head. Returning to Germany with his parents, he left the trophy behind. Jim Chilcott saw the antlers deteriorating with the weather and commented to the farmer, a man named Willis, who knew full well the person asking about it would appreciate it, and immediately gave it to him. Whatever the truth, Jim Chilcott never ever claimed to be of his taking. Other than the set belonging to the National Museum, which may well have been taken in Asia, these are the widest set definitely taken in New Zealand. Hell of a story. One of these sort of unknown hunter situations um but yeah hell of a trophy and bloody wide next we have jp mclean rangataiki river flats 1940 join us there for number six of the 236 club this series of the big game records is from volume four the rusa samba and whitetail written and compiled for the new zealand deer stalkers association incorporated by D. Bruce Bramwell. It was published by the Halkion Press, a division of Halkion Publishing Limited. Copyright D. Bruce Bramwell, 2006. First published, 2006. All rights reserved.